secret and live. Today, I like I have been wanting to talk to someone about this show for so long. I don't think anybody else is watching it. My sisters are watching it, but they're not into it as much as I am. Uh, last year, I did a video talking about like the shows that I've been watching that season, and I was really highly anticipating Secrets and Lies coming back because I really enjoyed the first season, which was super good. It was so good. Um, but yeah. Finally, a year later, Secrets and Lies is back on NBC, ABC, NBC, ABC. It's almost the season finale. I believe it's coming up on Sunday. Don't give me any spoilers before I watch it because I don't typically watch it. I, I DVR it. Anyway, Secrets and Lies. Secrets and Lies. Well, if you don't, if you don't know anything about Secrets and Lies, it's a like a murder mystery thriller type show that airs on Sundays on ABC. And it, this is the second season. The first season it followed um, a husband and his family and this little boy across the street was murdered and they were um, investigating the dad of the family thinking that he had something to do with this child's murder. This season is about Michael Ely is a young executive who recently met and found the love of his life. Who is that girl from Fast and Furious? And she dies in the first episode. Somebody pushes her off a building. So we're it's the same detective from season one who is Cornell, who is played I think it's Juliet Lewis. I love her. She's so good. Anyway, so, yes, it follows them. So she, Cornell is investigating. Cornell's a detective and she's investigating the murder of Kate. I think her name is Kate. And the thing about Secrets and Lies is everybody on the show has all these secrets and they tell all these lies. And then like you kind of, um, they kind of let you in on some of the secrets by doing flashbacks. So you see, like even though Kate die in the first episode you see her throughout the show because like a lot of her interactions are being reenacted or like they're being you'll see a flashback of like some some of her some of her stuff she's going through so there's a number of things i want to say about secrets of lies one michael ely is extremely attractive first of all i love the fact that they have done this twice in a row, have gotten like a really, really attractive man to be the lead person in the show. I think they're doing this on purpose. I feel like it has something to do with like feminism. I just, I just think this is what it is. He's just very good looking. And honestly, the show is not as good as the first season, but I don't care because I could just look at Michael Ely for an hour and not like, I mean, who's gonna complain about that? Second. Two, number two. I don't know who did it. I have I have an idea, but I don't know who did it. In the first season, I'm gonna spoil it. If you haven't seen the first season, I'm going to spoil it now. I so skip ahead, maybe like a 30 seconds. I knew the little girl had done it. Maybe like 30, maybe like three, maybe like in the la the last couple episodes, I knew it. I knew she had done it. Something about Cornell and the blood spreader report and I knew it was the little girl. But right now I'm sitting and I don't know and cause the thing is, is Cor in the first season Cornell knew who did it. She knew who had done it and she was giving me clues. She was like telling, whispering in my ear personally who did it. So I knew. And this one I don't think we're at, the, we're at the second to last, we're at the last episode and I don't think Cornell knows who, who's done it. So... I don't know who's done it because she's not whispering in my ear no more. So, this is what I think. And I'm probably wrong. So, something's going on with the sister because we didn't, we haven't really, like, she's lied. Like, most of the, most of the truth, most of the truths, truths? Most of the truths have come out about everybody else. But, I, we haven't figured out the sister quite yet, I don't think. So I think it was the first episode, um, it was like the night um, that Kate died and they were all sitting around the table. It was the dad, it was Michael Ely, and it was the sister. 
Michael Ely's sister on the show. And they were like sitting around eating or and talking or something. And the sister was like drenched in sweat. Like she had just ran a marathon. And I, like they never touched on that again. So we don't know what the situation was. And the dad was like, are you ill? Like what's going on with you? And she was just like, well, I don't know, I'm tired. But she was like sweating. So like obviously she had something going on after, after, after the murder. Something, she did something. Now, I don't think she did it. And right now, I'm leaning towards Michael Ely's dad on the show. Just because, like, I mean, what's his deal? The thing is, is I think the reason why I'm leaning towards the dad is because Kate knew a bunch of secrets about Michael Ely's brother, Patrick. I think the dad would have done anything to protect his children. So I think something was going on. She knew about about Patrick's uh, illegal, his illegal activities, and maybe he was, she was gonna expose him, something, and the dad was like, no you're not, and then he pushed her off the building. <laughs> it's something to do with the dad, and there's a little bit with the sister. What is the deal with the mama? Like, what is the deal with that? Like, is that just, is it just like a part of like, there it's just like is it does it mean anything that the mom is in this cold coma besides like the fact that it made the brothers and the sister who they are today like why they are the way they are or is there something deeper there i don't know it's so good it is really good it's a super good show if you have not watched secrets and lies i definitely encourage you to watch it i mean even if it's just to like look at michael ely and like his blue eyes i mean who wouldn't enjoy that? I can't wait to know who did it. I think it's the dad. I think it's the dad. I think the dad has something to do with it. Kate's son that she gave him for adoption, I don't know, he kind of looked creepy to me. Like, but he was like, I, got, I mean, maybe it was just because that was his mom and he wanted to see what she looked like, but he was just being really weird. I don't know, there was a weird part with, with the son. Maybe I'm overthinking that. If you're watching Secrets and Lies, let me know what you think um, in the comment section below. Let me know who you think the murderer is and or what happened. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.